Well, it's time to have another go at a large cafe scene again. This rather lovely blue and green one. Blue isn't always a good commercial colour, but I do love the variety of purples and blues in this. I think it should work, so we'll give it a go and then we'll go on to something with warmer colours afterwards. Due to rain tomorrow, so I might just start today and uh, hit it tomorrow if I can't get out. Well, it's foul outside. You can probably hear it rattling on the uh, Relux windows here as I'm trying to get enough light to paint. A bit of shadow, I'm afraid, can be cast across the canvas occasionally for you, but do what we can. Um, again, I'm going to be using the roller and the brushes for this one. And uh, I'll grab a nice big brush just to get going at the moment, not for my box, but just a rough old brush because what I'm going to be doing at the moment is lathering on. Um, Paint with the roller. Turn the dish round. And we've got lots of blues and greens in this and some warms just to pick it out. So if I start off with these lovely light and delicate greens and lighter colours, light greens and things. They're all over the place so this morning with these so many colours on this to try and get in. Let's just wet my sponge first. Quickly find my way with them. I might have to come back with these lighter colours again a bit later as well. Put them across again. But uh, see so covering the areas of the sponge roller gives lovely effects of texture and light. through there later. Comes just down right through there. Down in front of his face down here. And as usual you'll be thinking what the hell is he up to? Uh, I'm sure uh, as I just try and block in these beautiful colours here. So whenever we see it, whenever we see a colour we've got to put it in. I'm going to be blending some lounges of colours here. So a bit of yellow ochre now into that seam. Don't worry if you go over things slightly, it's better to go over. Maybe you can use a sponge to smudge as well as roll straight down. And that try a bit of um, cerulean into that now. See what that does. It's only with one colour linking it. It's quite useful with that with the sponge roller because we can link one colour in and across another. Get an effective light. I do like the watercolour as well. I tend to go for loose to start with and then tight at the end. You can't go tight and then loose very easily. So uh, I want to lose all of this white canvas this way first of all. Get base coats in. And even with the roller we can hint at shapes that are going on back here by going over and over again in the directions of those objects just to feel them to start with. This is why you must have a palette full of colour to start with. You can't just keep putting colours out as you think you're going to need them. You'll be there all day messing about and you still get so frustrated. It really wouldn't work. Right up into here. Okay, so you can come back and uh, Work details to this later. Let's just get the effect of light at the moment. Ultramarine, cobalt, burnt sienna, and um, purple. An interesting mixture together. Good bit of tone darker. We'll lock in these shapes at the moment and uh, use the white canvas so that I can. Find the details later. What on earth is it? This blue grey that I haven't got yet as well. Let's just get these bits of white covered for the moment and then I can. Now, how can I make that blue grey, which is a difficult colour, and I'll just begin to see things. You can see what I'm working out and how at last. Enables me then to work on with the brush in a moment. Right, we've got warmer colours to do. There's a little more warm like that going on. Well, whenever you see something, you put something on. If you see it somewhere else, you've got to put it in. 
out the way these colours come in they come one into another very often and Right, so I've washed the roller and brush now, that's the first time in this whole painting. Uh, now I want to hit the blues a little bit more strongly, so I'm going to start with um, some lovely deep rich ultramarine blue roller. Uh, the roller needs to be dried off a little bit or it's going to be just too wet to put this paint on. So don't make the mistake of washing your roller and then coming back and using it straight off because it will be full of water and it will trickle everywhere. Even now, even though I've dried it slightly, it's still a bit thin. Right, that's what we can do. Down here on this guy. Use your finger, use whatever you like, it doesn't matter as long as it works. It's the whole thing of painting. There's no such thing as cheating. If it works, use it. Use a spray can if you want. Oh, okay. Spray can art, there's all sorts we're going to do. Right, now I need some lovely, very light uh, turquoise. I'll wash my brush and just that in a different part of the palette. I should be able to soon use the same colour on the roller and go over it. It's amazing how much we can do just by little strokes like this indicating and giving an impression of something, letting the mind and the eye do the rest. Eh? It's quite a fun painting as it is, isn't it? I mean, it's got the effect of light already without us having to do too much. I think I'm about ready to work in with the brush. I just want to get hit my darks now, so I'm going to come down to using some black and some deep Prussian blue. So I'm still only hinting at things, I'm still just doing an impression. I don't want pure black, I'm adding some lovely deep Prussian blue to it as well. The lights against the darks, warmed against the cool. Try and bring out these shapes just like a jigsaw. Hopefully, gradually, and we will find our figures and people, and everything will start to look a bit like just by hinting at these shapes. And it's a lovely texture. Right, <coughs> new battery in the camera, and uh, colours a bit better, possibly. Let's see if we can work up on this with brushes now. So I'll just take out my selection and we'll see what we want to use. Uh, we might go for half its fill, but on this, let's see what we can do. I'll start to put these colours in more defined. Look at these abstract shapes, literally as they are. If we paint these shapes in, correct colours and um, relevant one to another, and the shapes are correct, then we should start to see figures appearing and things happening here. Lovely deep purples I'm putting in here now to play against these blues. Now I'll start picking up on some of these highlights. Quite a bit of difference to this painting, so let's see what we can do first of all with the, the turquoise. Different blues that I need to play with to find this, make one, one thing work against another. Yeah, these lovely blues that I want to really get the most of here. Oh, we're gradually getting there. Just playing up these colours a bit more. You can see just by putting the right marks in the right places we're starting to get the effects we need. I think I might just explore how the little is going to work first of all. And uh, let's mark it in with a pencil. Well, here goes nothing. I use a very, very deep Prussian. 
a wee touch of black in it to try and do this. Maybe I've got a bit bigger brush, but we'll see how this works. I've got a smaller brush, let's see if we can work on this. Just to get bigger as it comes towards us as well. So I'm just going to finish off with a few darks here and there now, just to uh, bring out these bits of leaf. Make sure that's what they look like. And I think we can call that one done. Look just to make sure. I think we need a few, few more little highlights and things. That one photographed. Well, let's see how it looks. Okay, now we're on for a few more cafe scenes as the weather's so usable at the moment. two latest works and uh, on there planning on with this miserable weather at the moment I think two or three days of, 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 of uh, rain is going to allow me to do uh, or push me to do a few more street and cafe scenes so I hope you'll enjoy those with me. <laughs> 